What's going on, Cab Training family? I'm Jacob Cabazito with Cab Training, and today I'm gonna to be going over a couple defensive back drills to improve your game at either safety or cornerback. But before we get into those drills, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to Cab Training to join the Cab Training family, and let's get better today. So all three of these drills are going to be drills that you can perform on your own with a couple cones. They're really gonna help you out. The next step from these drills is to have a coach telling you when to change direction and reacting to a coach. But if you're all alone, these are some great drills to help you work on moving backwards and exploding forward and being a, uh, and being a defensive back that can move and be rangy. All right, so for drill number one, we're gonna be working on our back pedal as well as our shuffle as well as our spatial recognition, let's just say. And for this drill, all you guys need is about six cones or six landmarks, and we're working on knowing where we're at while moving backwards and having a lot of body control while backpedaling. We're just alternating from backpedal to shuffle, backpedal to shuffle. The biggest tip I have for you guys is to keep your shoulders over your knees. If your shoulders are behind your knees, you're really gonna start leaning backward and losing control. So if you keep your shoulders over your knees, you're able to keep that weight balanced if you're sitting your butt back and you're gonna be able to move a little bit more freely and more powerfully. Now, of course, if you had a coach or an instructor or a teammate to help you react, they could, you can do this without cones and they could just tell you to alternate between shuffle and backpedal without any cones in the mix and that could really help you with your reaction because football is a reaction-based game and you're not gonna have those cones to mess around with in-game. Drill number two is really the reverse of a receiver drill that I like to follow. Shout out to First Down Training for this type of drill, but I'm just going to be doing the drill backwards to try and mirror what a defensive back is doing so you guys can have that balance and footwork while moving backwards to cover receivers better. All we're doing is we're chopping our feet and every time we get in between one of the five cones that we have lined up, we are jabbing our inside foot in between those cones. What I want you guys to think of is to lean into it just like a receiver would lean into their break. That way you have a lot of balance and you're knowing what that receiver's body is moving like when they're running a route against you. And this is again, just working on being aware and recognizing where you are when you're moving backwards and being comfortable while moving backwards. When you're facing a speedy receiver, we have to be able to move backwards fast and turn fast. So at the very end of this drill, after you're done with your fourth jab in between those last two cones, make a solid explosive turn and sprint out of there so we can get into the habit of turning aggressively and in a very, very fast manner. Drill number three is something that I'd probably like to call the comeback drill. And this one deals with the back pedal into a turn, and then you gotta plant and come back, just like you're guarding either a curl route or a comeback. Make sure again, just like drill number one and drill number two for that matter, you wanna have your shoulders over your knees again. That way you guys are balanced and your weight is balanced on this drill. So we're back pedaling for about five yards. Then once you hit the next cone, you're turning your hips either way then once you get to the very last cone, you're gonna sink your hips, plant and explode forward. When you guys sink your hips and break to sprint back forward, try not to step outside of your body frame. If you guys step outside of your hips, you're probably gonna slip and jam your foot into the ground too hard and not make up as much ground as you need to. So again, keep your feet inside of your body so you don't feel like the rug is getting pulled out from under you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Defensive backs have to be so good at moving backwards and forwards and side to side for that matter. So I hope this video helps you guys improve your skills and your movements so you guys can be playmakers on the field. If you guys got value out of this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Cab Training so you can follow some more position specific drills as well as speed and agility drills to improve your performance. Let's get better today.